feel Melissa. You feeling a little better? I'm really sorry you got fired from the daycare. I still feel terrible. I had a whole plan. I was going to watch your baby at the daycare so you didn't have to worry. I was going to be the good one in this situation for once. Don't worry about it, alright? I've like moved on from that. It's nothing we can do. I do appreciate your help though, alright? I, I saw the effort. I just want to be better for you, baby. Hi, right, Melissa, but let me say something here. How am I supposed to want to have kids with you when you act like that with strangers' kids at a daycare? You know what I mean? Look at it from my perspective. That was kind of crazy. Really, Joey? In a time like this, that's what you say to me? You're so insensitive sometimes. Hmm. Oh my god. I'm pregnant. Hi, Joey. <laughs> What's up, Melissa? How's it going? <clears throat> what is it, baby? I saw Miranda at the store. And what happened? Y'all got into a brawl? I mean, that would be kind of hot. No. I was super cordial. You? You were cordial? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Miranda. Yeah. Um, hello. You know... <laughs> It's such a shame that they no longer needed me at the daycare. I really felt like I was bonding with Junior. I really started to feel like a stepmom. Um, from what I heard, you were screaming at children. Listen, they could not, they didn't like me, let's put it that way. And when you say someone's yelling at a kid, that's very subjective. So I can't disprove that. That's on a camera that like, they can make me look like I was, I'm pregnant with Joey's baby. <laughs> Um, excuse me? <laughs> Joey doesn't even know yet. Um, his whole life and priorities are about to change. <laughs> Maybe there's something good for you. Maybe, um, your custody stuff won't be so tumultuous because now he'll be focusing on his new life with me and his baby. <laughs> are, are you really pregnant? I, I thought you had PC. I am like super pregnant, like you can't get any more pregnant than me. I'm sure you're like over the moon for me. Uh, by the way, when I was working with Junior at the daycare, I noticed he doesn't like respond to his name. You know they have like a lot of resources for kids that are slow. Um, but it was great seeing you. Um, I'm sure there'll be plenty of parties for the baby coming up and you'll get the first invite. Great seeing you though. <laughs> I'm telling you Ma. Uncle Jimmy downright snapped at me. I've never seen him like this. I swear it's that girlfriend of his. Like, whoever she is, it's just a shady situation. Like, why won't he even just talk about her to me, man? I'm his nephew. I thought we were like, I don't want to say friends, but you know what I mean. Like, I talked to I have an announcement. All right, Ma, I'll call you back. What's up, baby? Hello. I no longer need to look for work because I'm pregnant. What? For... Re? No, it's a lot to process, but you're going to be a dad. Are you excited? Yeah, a lot to process. Yeah. Um... What's with the boy shoes? You're that far along that you know the gender already? Silly. I bought those because I, I just know that we're gonna have a boy. Uh, I'm just a little taken back. I, I can't believe... So where's the, the pregnancy test? I didn't take one. I'm four days late, babe. Come on. Don't you think you're like maybe a little bit kind of jumping the, the gun? This is a pregnancy announcement. Like we're not going to get another one of these for the first time. And are, are you being serious? Yeah, I'm, I'm pranking you. <laughs> of, co of course I'm happy. Yay. <laughs> I, I knew you'd be happy. <laughs> we can really start our life together, baby, you and me. Hi, Mel. How are you today? I'm good. You know, I'm not pleased with the fact that you were fired from the daycare. It wasn't easy to put in a good word after, you know, you have a criminal record. Well, I genuinely appreciate that you stuck your neck out for me like that. 
no one's ever got me a job before, so I do appreciate it. But I don't think any of that matters right now because I have bigger news. And what's that? Well, Mill, <laughs> you're gonna be a grandma all over again. You're pregnant. Well, Joey already knows and I'm just like excited to go baby shopping already. <laughs> well, congratulations, Melissa. I'm happy for you. How far along are you? I pretty much um, just found out, so I, of course I had to tell you. Well, that does make me happy, because I had no idea where you were going with your fertility issues. You're not too far away from being considered a geriatric when it comes to pregnancy. But now we don't have to worry about any of that, because instead of being a stepmom, I'm going to be an actual mom. Hmm. Well, Uncle Jimmy, your plan was pretty good. We were going to get Melissa to take that pregnancy test because it was going to look like an announcement for my mom. But what happens when she tells my mom? That's exactly what she did. Just when I think like I'm ahead of her, she's ahead of me. So now I don't know how I'm going to get her to take a pregnancy test. Yeah, maybe I'll call you back. Um, talking to my nephew. Who was that? It was no one. I thought you, I thought you broke up with the girl. Don't worry about it. What, what were you saying? All right. Uh, anyway, um, she's uh, she's bringing me baby shopping, dragging me baby shopping, dragging. Joey, you're gonna be a father at this point. You just gotta make lemonade. You gotta make lemons in the lemonade. Because Uncle Jimmy, maybe I'd be happy if she was actually pregnant. But I know in my heart that she's not. And when she finds out that she's not, I'm gonna be the one that has to deal with her. It's gonna be hell. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Ah, look at this one, Joey. It says, future trooper. He can grow up to be a cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get it. Put it in the... Put it in the shopping cart. Joey, <laughs> look at this little camouflage jacket I got for the baby. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh wow, that's, that's really nice. Thanks for forgetting that. Okay, so I also came in here because I want to talk to you about the next phase in the pregnancy journey. Okay. Okay, so I know that they usually make pregnancy announcements around like 12 weeks, like you mentioned before. I love that you're like, that you know all this stuff. But anyway, I don't think, we're not wimps, you know what I mean? Like, we know that we're going to have a healthy baby. We know that we're going to be happy. So, I'm thinking that we make the pregnancy announcement a little bit sooner. Uh, I mean, we're already like so unique why do we why why push it you know like what well, let's just keep things a little traditional you know do you not like believe that we're gonna be okay nah nah i, I do i do um let's do it let's let's make that announcement okay great so look i was thinking about like how to do it online and i don't like all the you know the boards or the pregnancy tests, I think those are like cliche. I want to do something with a sonogram. But first, <laughs> I need a sonogram. So? What? Obviously I have to go to the doctor, so I think I'm gonna go to my first prenatal. I know I'm a little bit early, but I think it's time. And um, you can come, you don't have to come, but I would like you to come. Yeah, but like, what if we go and, um, I don't know, you find out what, maybe, maybe we should wait. Let's just wait. Like, let's savor the fact that you're pregnant and let's just live in this moment and before doctors and, you know? Joey, I don't want to wait, you know? So I booked one for tomorrow. <laughs> so, are you excited? It's our first prenatal. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm, I'm over the moon right now. I don't know, I just, the way you're acting, it's kind of like you're going to the DMV or something. Well, um, it's the first prenatal, you know? Of course I'm going to be a little quiet. Oh, look at you. You're just excited that 
You're going to be a dad. Don't worry. It's going to go great. I'm really sorry, Melissa, but this is why um, usually patients take a pregnancy test before they come in. Uh, the test is negative. Uh, not seeing a reason to do a sonogram today. But I am. I'm a week late on my period. I, uh, I've i never been like a day late. Uh, there could be many reasons why. I'm pregnant. I mean... You're free to take another pregnancy test if you'd like. Well, I'm going to, but uh, I have to wait till I have to use the bathroom again. I'm pregnant, Joey. I know I am. I know you are, Melissa. Believe me. I know. I'm, I'm sorry, Melissa, but it's still, it's still negative. No! Well, Ma, Melissa's not pregnant. I knew it. This isn't going to be good. I, I could just feel... Like the tension in my chest. Sad to hear that. How is she taking the news? Not good. She's in like a catatonic state. Like she's not talking at all. And that's not like her, you know? Usually she's talking about like Gossip Girl and, and all these like bad girl clubs and reality shows. And I don't know. It's just she's not herself. It's frightening. Well, yes. That is pretty out of character for her. Yeah, I know. And look, I hate to say it, but I gotta say it. I don't even really want to have a baby with her. I don't even know if I want to be with her anymore. I just, at the end of the day, I still have feelings for her. Don't you dare say something stupid like that. You're just being emotional. You need to be there for her. This is a very hard time for a woman. Ma, she wasn't even pregnant to begin with. And that's your fault, Joey. You're not putting your heart into it. Now go support your girlfriend. Alright, ma. There's like no talking to you. I was telling Margaret, like, it's not always about money, you know, it's, it's sometimes, you know, fixing a pool is a lot of money, you know, I, I mean, I'm just. I Me, mean, I don't really care about money. Hello? Hey, Uncle Jimmy, it's me. Um, there's a lot going on with Melissa, man, so I'm coming over. Really? What? What? You're coming over now, Joey? Yeah, I'm a block away. I'll see you soon, man. A block away? Come on, come on. We're gonna put you in the closet. We're gonna put you in here. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Uncle Jimmy, what's poppin'? I'm sorry for the late notice. I just, I got so much on my mind with Melissa, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm doing good, Jimmy. Uh, Joey. <laughs> I'm doing good, Joey. What's the matter with you? You look like you just, I don't know, you're tweaking. Nah, nah, I'm good. I, I, uh, you know how I get with coffee. I'm just, I had two cups, and now I'm like flying. So, uh, yeah, I, no big. Why don't, we, why don't we talk in the kitchen? <laughs> that sounds good. I'm hungry. You got like hot pockets, man. I don't know. So, what do you think I should do, Uncle Jimmy? I know we have this discussion all the time, but you know, Melissa's going through a hard time right now. Mom wants me to stay with her. All the TikTok wants me to break up with her. I'm tapped out, you know? Like, I don't... I don't want to be with her anymore. I mean, uh... What gives? Your attention's out the window. What's going on? Uh, so... Uh, if I'm gonna shoot from the hip here, uh... You know I don't like Melissa, but... There's, um... A lot of people who... Think you can't redeem yourself, you know? They they think you're terrible for everything you've done and whatever. I don't think that leaving a woman through her fertility issues is going to make you look good. So I I, I think you should wait it out. Uh, it's just the problem is when all is said and done and the dust settles, how do I break up with her? I mean, didn't you uh? Weren't you gonna pretend to be gay or something to to get out of this? I mean, I might try that, but I'm thinking maybe I could tell her I had a vasectomy with Miranda, like after we had our baby, and maybe I'll tell her, like, I would just scared to tell you type of thing. Yeah, I would, um, I'd make that your plan B. All right, yeah. Thanks, Uncle Jimmy. And hey, get some sleep or something, man. You're, like, off the walls. It's like you're hiding something. <laughs> Don't want to wait for the premieres and want to see the videos before everyone else? Then head on over to my Patreon, where you can get early access for $4.99. You know, um, 
The doctor got good reviews, so uh, I'm sure this second opinion is gonna go really well. Please stop talking, Joey. Every time you talk, you mess up the mojo. I will. Good luck. Uh, I guess I'll just stay in the car. No, I want you to come in. <sighs> I'm sorry, miss, but you're not pregnant. You're wrong. Susan, can we call the police, please? Melissa, do you want to talk about it or anything? You know, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> You're just trying to help? You're just trying to help? Why don't you help me by getting rid of Miranda and getting her out of my life? Because I know you're still obsessed with her, and that's why we couldn't have a baby. Because you were probably just thinking about her the entire time, weren't you? Do you know what it's like to have to babysit your stupid little baby that belongs to her too? F her baby. F her baby. F her baby. You didn't just talk about my baby like that, right? You talking about my baby? Yeah, what are you gonna do? You understand? Like, uh, I don't think. Hey! What do you want to talk about, Joey? Are you gonna apologize? Because I'm not leaving this house until you apologize to me. I can't sugarcoat this, Melissa. After everything that just happened between us and everything else, I think you and me should take a break. A break? I don't do breaks or breakups, Joey. Well, I don't know what to tell you because I've had enough. You know, you say what you want about me, you say what you want about Miranda. But the second you bring my kid into things, you cross the line, Melissa. Oh, please. You've tried to break up with me before, and, and you're just full of it. You don't want to break up with me. I'm not going to tell you again, Melissa. Get out of my house. What are you going to do? I already showed you. I'm not scared of you. You know, I really didn't defend myself last time, but, like, this time, like, if you don't get out of my house... You're not going to talk to me like that, Joey. If you really want me gone and out of this house, you're going to have to physically remove me. Don't want to wait for the premieres and want to see the videos before everyone else? Then head on over to my Patreon where you can get early access for $4.99. Hey Ma, just going to let you know that um, I broke up with Melissa. And how did that go? I presume she didn't take it well. We got into like a little physical scuffle and um, I was able to get her out. And ever since, um, I haven't heard from her. No apology, not a text, not a call, nothing. She's just MIA. If she apologized, would you take her back? No, Ma. I'm really done this time. Well, that's a shame. Nanny Agatha will be happy, though. I just wanted to let you know what was going on, all right? I'll talk to you later. All right, dear. Try to relax a The subtle taste, they strangle me. I can't explain myself at all. And all they want, and all they need, all I don't want to need at all. The world start breathing, my mind's on leaving. Maybe it's best you. Melissa and Joey have officially broken up, and it wasn't without fanfare. Good. That girl was crazy, and you can't reproduce with crazy. She was better than Miranda. Miranda was a freeloader. She used Joey. She was a control freak. She didn't value his family. She was frankly disrespectful to me. I could go on and on and on about her. I really liked Melissa over Miranda. Don't be stupid. Your son Joey was always the problem. He still is the problem. But you need to get him back together with Miranda. I would give up all my money from the will to prevent Joey from getting back with that hoochie mama. But if it makes you feel better, I'll keep my opinions to myself about her. I want to speak to Miranda myself. Give me her number. As you wish.
I don't want to think about Melissa, okay? Look, I broke up with her, and that's it. I completely agree with you. I think you need to move on. Melissa, what's bad for you? Don't think about her. Exactly. Come on. Aren't you lonely right now, Joey? Do you really just want to be in this house by yourself? You miss her. Come on. Do you really want to show Miranda that you failed at starting a relationship without her? No. Of course not. Come on now. All of your followers say that she's bad for you and that you need to break up with her. How can 70,000 people be wrong? This is your time to do the right thing and cut her loose. Listen to the people. Come on now, who are you to judge Melissa? You're not perfect, none of us are perfect. You two were meant to be. And aren't you going to miss the other stuff? You know, the stuff that she was really good at, all the passion that she would bring. Come on now, you'd rather just go to sleep tonight? Shut up, just, just stop. Don't listen. Remember that little thing that she would do? Damn it. Don't want to wait for the premieres and want to see the videos before everyone else? Then head on over to my Patreon where you can get early access for $4.99. Hey, yo, baby. I'm running to the store. You need anything for your pregnancy cravings? Mm, we're out of hot dogs. Get hot dogs. And there's always an and. Hmm. Sushi. Ah, how can you eat that together? It's what the baby wants. Whatever you and the baby wants. You can miss her all you want, but you're never getting back with Miranda. That doesn't mean that I can't think about her. Do you really want to be alone right now? What are you going to do? Go play video games? Call an old friend that you never hung out with in a while? You want to hang out with Melissa. You want to be Snuggling on the couch with her. No. She crossed the line. You act like she's the only one that's not perfect. You're not perfect. You messed up plenty of times. And you're going to let a relationship go down the tubes because she messed up? Come on now. What about all the times that she made you feel like a king? Well, Jeff, I finally found the courage to come see you. As for a life update, I guess things are getting a little bit better with me. I miss you. I wish I could have helped you. But in a weird way, I guess, your death kind of made me stronger. Man, so <laughs> the weather is like nuts out today, right, Jimmy? You got back with Melissa, didn't you? How'd you know? I mean, not like fully, okay? Like, what, are you mad? No, I'm not mad. Believe me, I'm in no position to be judgmental. I'm thinking like, her and I can just be friends right now. You know what I mean? See how things go that way. Are you friends or are you friends because She's not going to go for that second option. Well, I, I don't want to take her back as like a full girlfriend, okay? You've done some scummy things, Joey, but don't be a scumbag. Who's being a scumbag? I'm being like transparent with her, you know? I don't know, like, I really want to have a baby with Joey. Like, it's my dream. And every time I don't see a positive pregnancy test, I, everyone makes me out to be a crazy girlfriend, but no one understands how hard it is to, to go through this every month. You can't expect people to understand your relationship, sweetie. I know. How are you with his baby? I absolutely love Joey's baby. We're actually going on a Disney trip for Mother's Day. It's gonna be really sweet. You know, it's hard, but I love the baby. Melissa, I'm telling you, full custody. You need to get that baby for him. He will forever love you if you do that. I don't know, Duche. Uh, the custody stuff's been spoken about so much in the storyline already. 
you need to talk to the people. You need to go to whoever deals with this custody stuff. My cousin works in the system. He can get the case started for you. I mean, that is the happily ever after, right? We get custody. I have my baby with Joey. We move the baby away. We start over. White picket friends. Girl, you're gonna have a happy family. I promise you. I mean, I'm so happy that you sat down with me, you know, you being in the family court system and stuff. What do you think about all this? Doesn't my boyfriend deserve custody? Well, like I said, um, he would have to open a case. You know, she had the audacity to tell him that he can't see his baby until after Mother's Day. She's setting up little stipulations for him. Can't you guys, like, do anything about that? Well, like I said, he would need, with all due respect, I hope you don't mind me asking this, but um, I've never seen a woman so passionate about getting her boyfriend custody of his baby. Why are you here talking to me and not him? Well, because I love my man. And I know that if I help him with his baby and maybe getting custody and stuff like that, he'll always love me for that and he'll see how much I love him. And it'll just make having our own baby all the more special. Okay, well... Uh okay, what if I was like able to find a way that she endangers the baby or it's like an unfit mother because I, I swear, she has a temper. I mean, I'm so happy that you sat down with me, you know, you being in the family court system and stuff. What do you think about all this? Doesn't my boyfriend deserve custody? Well, like I said, um, he would have to open a case. You know, she had the audacity to tell him that he can't see his baby until after Mother's Day. She's setting up little stipulations for him. Can't you guys, like, do anything about that? Well, like I said, he would need... With all due respect, I hope you don't mind me asking this, but, um, I've never seen a woman so passionate about getting her boyfriend custody of his baby. Why are you here talking to me and not him? Well, because I love my man. And I know that if I help him with his baby and maybe getting custody and stuff like that, he'll always love me for that and he'll see how much I love him. And it'll just make having our own baby all the more special. Okay, well... Uh okay, what if I was like able to find a way that she endangers the baby or it's like an unfit mother because I... I swear, she has a temper. What the hell are you doing having a caseworker over at my house? I told you a while ago, like, I'm done fighting for custody. I don't want to take the baby away from Miranda. What are you going behind my back for? What? Joey, how would you even know? The nanny cam. Damn it. That was a discussion that was over. Like, that was a matter that was put to rest, and now you're bringing it back up, and I don't... Why would you scheme behind my back? <laughs> I really just thought I could get the ball rolling and, and do something nice. You really didn't think this one through, Melissa, because now, like, it just seems like you're being manipulative again. You're going behind my back. How am I supposed to trust you? This is why, like, I really think that you and me should just... She's the one trying to get custody from you. I, I just wanted to, um, beat her to the punch, you know? I wanted to be first. What are you talking about? Um... My friend Duche, he, he works in the court system, or he knows people that work in the court system, and he said that Miranda's opening a case to take the baby from you, so I didn't want to upset you, and I didn't want to get involved, and I, I guess I just took it upon myself to see what I could do, that's all. Do you, like, believe me? <laughs> Mama, I'm actually on my way to see Nanny Agatha. I don't know, she wants to see me. That's incredibly weird. You're not even part of the family anymore. I know, I just pulled up, I have jitters. All right, dear, let me know how it goes. I will, Mom. Here goes nothing. Hi, Nanny Agatha. How have you been? Good. Have a seat. Joey pays you child support? Yeah, he, um, he actually pays me every weekend. He's missed a few payments in the past, but he's always paid me. Be honest. 
What's your honest opinion about Melissa? If I'm gonna be frank, I think she's a terrible person, a manipulative person, an insecure person. I don't think that she's safe around my baby. Um, and I really just can't stand her. I mean, I hope that's not too harsh, but that's how I genuinely feel about her. There's, I could literally go on all day. I'm giving you a hundred thousand dollars and I apologize on behalf of my idiot grandson. I also apologize for my daughter. Thank you. I don't know what to say. I protect my family. My great grandson it's the only thing I care about. You let me know if Melissa does anything wrong. And I mean anything. Of course, Nanny Agatha. No problem.